How do you get abs? It is definitely one of the most common questions I get, both from men and from women. And the thing is, people think that there has to be some magical formula or some super restrictive thing that you do. The reality is that yes, you do have to do something different, but it might not be what you think. Now in this video today, I wanna to share three of the mindset revelations I had as far as what it took to actually get abs and keep them year round. What's up guys, I'm Alex Hine, author of the book Master the Day. Now the very first revelation I had was that I will need to become the next level version of myself. So abs are a really good kind of micro experiment in becoming the next version of yourself or the next level. The reason for that is that almost always it is a very tough thing for people to do. People can gain muscle, people can lose fat, but getting abs, basically by the definition that most people are impressed by, is not easy it will take the next version of you. Now the next version of you could be more discipline. It may mean that, you know what? You have to cook every day instead of only two or three times a week. It may mean that, you know, now you go to the gym two or three times a week, maybe you're gonna have to go five and you're gonna have to go at least 40 minutes each time. And so the first mindset difference was that you have to think, or I had to think, what is the next level version of myself? Now, some of the core habits it took me was that I had to cook every day and I had to cook at least two meals a day. Now that doesn't have to be laborious or laborious rather, it just means you have to figure out a way to do it that works for you. It also means for me, I had to religiously go to the gym four days a week with weights without fail. Now at this point in my life, at 30, I don't think I've missed a week in the gym besides on vacation in about seven years. And that's because I love it, and that's a core ritual for my energy. It's kind of like hitting the purge button day to day with my emotions. So if you ask yourself, what is the next level version of myself? What is it going to require? You're going to come up with some interesting habits. Now, mindset shift number two is that I will have to go 90% of the way. What does this mean? It means that you're going to have to be more disciplined than you've ever been in your life. You're going to have to go all in on doing the workouts. You can't do it half-assed. It's just not gonna get you there. You're gonna have to go all in on figuring out the kind of food that works for you. Whether it is adjusting your carb ratios or doing intermittent fasting and only having two larger meals per day or trying whatever it is that works for you. But it's gonna have to become, for most people, a primary focus, a primary goal. It's not like you're just gonna eat what you want, go to the gym a few times a week and you know, wham, bam, you suddenly have abs all day. Usually it's not gonna work like that for most people depending where you are, you know, already on the body fat spectrum. And so if you think, I'm gonna have to be way more focused than I already am. You're gonna have to come up with the daily rituals that maybe you haven't done before. You're gonna have to be religious about, this is a primary goal for me. This is something I have to think about every day. It's not gonna be something that comes secondary to watching Netflix or to going out with my friends. It's gonna have to be a primary focus. And many of us are not willing to make that sacrifice. Are you willing to make the sacrifice on Friday night where it's Buffalo Wild Wings and beer? Are you gonna not go? Are you gonna get a chicken salad instead and not have beer or have one margarita instead? I don't know, that's a big sacrifice for a lot of people. For others, that's a piece of cake in terms of getting the kind of body and getting the kind of life that they want. So when you think, I'm gonna to have to go nine tenths of the way, it, it's a metaphor for you can't half-ass it. You can't. It's gonna to have to be all the food that goes in my mouth day to day, I have to be conscious of. Just track it if you aren't conscious of it. All the workouts I do, I have to track and measure my progress every week or every day. And then use before and after pictures every week every month to make sure that the rituals I thought would work to get there actually are working to help me get there. And mindset shift number three is that abs are made in the kitchen. I know this is a super cliche saying, but, but I've been in the gym for over 10 years and at every gym I go to, wherever I've been in the country, there's always like the same 40 or 50 people I see at my workout block, which is 6 to 7 p.m. at night. And you know what's funny? Most of those people do not change year to year, right? I see them every week, every year, and then year by year, they don't look much different. And most of them, 90% don't have abs, male and female. So the question is, if they're religious about going to the gym, 
but they don't have abs, then the gym is not the most important factor in having abs. So when you think of it like that, you know, the tendency for people when they don't look good and when they don't feel good is to think that two hours a day in the gym is just what it takes, that it's the volume of time. It's the volume, the magnitude of effort that's required. But it's not really true. It's more about focusing on the right habits, being disciplined, and being consistent with the daily rituals that you need to work on, and then just letting time work her magic. Don't think that you've got to be spending the hours in the gym every day, because it's not true. It's an integral part, and it's a very important piece. However, it's not the most important piece. The most important piece is food. And I've shared in previous videos on abs what I think tends to work for most people based on my experience, which is either doing something like cycling their carbs or adjusting their carbs. Some people are comfortable going full paleo, basically just meat and plants. Others, they hate it, and it sucks not having any carbs. What I recommend is something in between. Maybe you only have carbs one meal of the day, or you have it around your workout times, and on your days off when you're not in the gym, you dramatically drop that carb load. The fact is, cycling or reducing your carbs does work. It works dramatically. Or intermittent fasting, where you wait until maybe one in the afternoon, you have your first meal, and your second meal is around seven o'clock. For a lot of people, they have no problems feeling full, they don't feel like they're deprived, and they end up losing weight because they're usually eating one less meal a day. For some people, that really works. But if you think about the fundamental philosophy that this is gonna come from food more than anything, that's going to be reflected in your habits and in your actions. So it's going to be reflected if you eat out three times a day. It's going to be reflected in the fact that having that Buffalo Wild Wings or those burgers Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in the beer is not going to work. They are, those two habits and goals are incongruent. So when you think it's made in the kitchen, you begin to think, what do I have to do in the kitchen and in relation to my eating in order to see these results? So I hope that helps. So your tiny daily habit for today is to think carefully about, number one, that these abs are made in the kitchen, two, it's going to require the next level version of yourself, and three, you're going to have to go 90% of the way. However you want to interpret that effort, you're going to have to just do more and be better about what you do. So I hope that helps. I want you to let me know there below, for you, what's been the biggest barrier to getting lean and toned and having abs? Hey guys, it's Alex. I hope you like this video. Now the best way to stay in touch is to go grab that free seven day weight loss challenge and free downloadable guide on my site. You can also watch the last video right here or click the monk to subscribe. And of course, if you haven't read my book, Master of the Day, on the daily habits of people that lost over hundred pounds and kept it off years later, you can get that on Amazon or in the description right there below. And if you send me your receipt to alexander at modernhealthmonk.com, I'll send you a two hour bonus video course for free.